Nelson Darwin Park Tech. Subscribe for more videos. Okay, guys. It's me, Imad, from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make an overload detector and shut off circuit within the Proteus. The controller we are using is the Arduino Uno. And the platform is Proteus 8 Professional. So now let's get started. First. You must know that Arduino Uno is not the integral part of the Proteus. So, first you should have to download its library within the Proteus library folder and then you can use it. And how you can download the library for it, you should have to Google it out and you will find a lot of tutorials about it. And after you have done downloading, you can use this Arduino Uno. Okay, now this is our Arduino Uno. Now we need to take our current sensor that is ACS712. Okay, now this is our current sensor. Okay, so now there are two sides of this sensor the left side is related with the power that is the current used to move from ip positive to ip negative and the other side that is right side is for vcc ground and the output signal the v out must be connected with the analog a0 input of the arduino uno for vcc we need to give it like uh, 5 volts Okay, so it is the 5 volt. And what about ground? Okay, now ground pin is connected with the ground. Okay, first we will. Okay. We also need to connect the serial monitor or virtual terminal with the Arduino Uno. We can take this virtual terminal, we can put here, just connect RXT with TXT and it will work fine. No need to connect TXT with RXT of Arduino. Just one pin and it's enough. Okay, now we need to take, first we will take one lamp, one 12 volt lamp. It is animated so we can see it working. Okay, so this is our lamp. We need to connect it with one battery. So we can take our battery. So we can take single cell or any other. So this is our cell. Connect like this. Okay, now we also need to insert one push button that is SPSD, single pole, single throw button. So this is our Okay, now you can connect it like that. Is the bulb our lamp is of 12 volts, so we have to change the battery voltages to 12 volt. Okay, now we can run it. Okay, wait. First, we have to go for our Arduino program because it's very essential. Okay, so we have written a very, very simple Arduino program within the Arduino. So you should have to follow the same programming that is we are getting the signal on a0 and there are calculations for 
ACS712 sensor. So that our sensor value will be converted into the corresponding amperes. So we can run this uh, coding. So after it, we, we can see this hex file link and we need to copy it. Control C. Okay. So we can double click on Arduino Uno. We can paste it here, the link for hex file. And now we can see it working, hopefully. You can see that there are zero amps shown or 0 0.03 because there isn't any sort of like current movement and now we will make it on okay now you can see that it is 0.55 amperes okay so what we will do is that we will simply connect one more lamp and one with one more push button power switch so you can take one lamp and one push button so if there is just one lamp it will keep running but if there is like uh, two lamps on the supply and if we consider it is overloaded then we will shut it down and for shutdown we need to operate a relay Okay, so we can arrange them like that. Okay, so first we will see about the current values. So we can make both the lamps on and we can see that we have 1.11 amps. Now in coding we will we will make a check on the current m state m value that if m is greater than one then then serial dot print ln overloaded overloaded and also make digital write 12 comma high and we will also make pin number 12 high so here we also need to write pin mode 12 comma high so hopefully now it will also one more thing that when we will make off the other lamp and we will decrease the voltage then normal load oh, sorry normal loaded current value we can see that it is overloaded okay it, it is showing overloaded and now normal loaded okay now we will add uh, attach a relay with uh, here relay and image it so that it will cut it off so we can go and we can take a relay here okay we can make it a little big and here okay wait this one like this we can use it here with pin number 12 and the other end of the relay with the ground okay so we can do one thing we can we can cut it off we can connect one and here and other end of the relay here okay now now 
relay also need to be operated on 5 volt so what because relay has two types of production normally open and normally close you can see that two points are connected with each other they are normally closed and when it will uh, be forced uh, to uh, on to become on the windings will get some voltage then it will become off and the it will the the the, the strip will uh, like attach with this third point so we can okay so it's a point five three amps okay now again yes okay now we can see that what okay now we we can see it is 0.55 amps and there is like one just one bulb okay now we will make the two bulb on now it is overloaded and yes okay when 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 it is overloaded it gets shut but when it gets shut i think that it must not have to have to be on again so we have to delete this second condition out now we can see that uh, we can so it is 0 0.7 amps 0.55 amps and all this so it is okay when we will make both the loads on it will become overloaded okay overloaded current value 0 0.03 amps and now you should have to manually make it on so hopefully now you can run the circuit on your proteus software so the file link is also given in the description so you can download it from the link given below so thanks for visiting our channel